Hello everyone, welcome to our Timeless Oracle Reading. Our Oracle card for today belongs to the Shamanic Healing Oracle. And the card for today is entitled, It is All Good. I am reminded of a computer game. And uh, when we play computer games, we always go back to it. Uh, where, because usually a computer game would give us a certain challenge or a certain difficulty. And every time we commit mistake, we go back to zero. And so what happens is we, we get frustrated. But then again, we try again. Because we get challenged, we say, we're going to beat this one. So we're going to do better next time. And so we repeat and we repeat and we repeat until finally we succeed in that level. And after we succeed in that level, we go to a higher level. Uh, it's the same process. We try things out, we commit mistakes, and then we encounter difficulty. But then we keep on trying until we master it, and then we go to a higher level. Life is like that also. When you look at it here in the picture here, it's a concentric circle, and it goes inner and inner until there is a triangle. The triangle for me symbolizes stability and also symbolizes the presence of the divine. Uh, in, in the Christian faith, they look at the, div the triangle or the trinity as the trinity, which is three persons in one God. So when you look at it, it's also a sign of divinity. But the triangle also is a sign of stability, uh, equality, when you attain a certain balance in your person. To be able to attain a certain balance in your person is like doing a computer game you keep on facing life's challenges and try to react on it in a positive way we look at it as an opportunity to learn something to develop a new skill if you look at it that way even if we encounter the most difficult situations in life we keep on going back and facing life each day we always have that that joy to wake up and face the new challenges why because we know or we look at the life challenges and as an opportunity to become better. We look at it as a challenge. So even it, it's not how difficult life presents itself. It's how we respond to the difficulties of life. If we look at it the way we look at it when we play a computer game, we look at it as an opportunity to develop our skills, an opportunity to grow, an opportunity to become better then we face life's challenges with that positive attitude. We keep on trying. And every time we fail, it's an opportunity for us to learn a new technique. So it's like that. So every experiences, every experience, whether it be uh, comfortable or difficult, has a lesson to teach us. It makes us a better person afterwards. The, only, the important thing is that we keep on coming back and we keep on trying. And all these things will pass. Once you master it, then there's another cycle, another spiral. That's why when we look at our spiritual journey, it's like a spiral. There's a moment wherein we develop a difficulty, and then we learn a lesson from that difficulty. We try to heal from that, from that difficulty. And after we heal, we learn new lessons, we apply the new lessons, then we do better. And then afterwards, we encounter a moment of rest, to assimilate our life experiences and then we encounter a more difficult life situation and every time we succeed we and we go into a higher level and we attain a certain maturity until we reach that stability wherein you just face life's challenges and as, as opportunities instead of you look at it as a stepping stone rather than a stumbling block you look at life challenges as an opportunity it's not easy but when you try to look at it even computer games are not easy but we always go back to those computer games try to see the attitude that you have when you go and play the computer games if you can regain that same attitude the way you respond to the challenges provided by the computer games maybe we will be able to face life's challenges in a more positive light it's just a thought that you can consider. Now, let's try to read from the handbook that accompanies this card and maybe we can gain more insights regarding 
it is all good. Every experience you have in your lifetime has the potential to be a teaching tool. By remembering and embracing this idea, the situations you encounter become less fraught with unneeded emotion and drama. By not attaching labels or expectations to people and situations, you allow the pure divine energy to flow unimpeded. While you may have little control over what happens to you at times, you always have control over how you react. Do you react on an impulse? Strike out at others when you feel hurt? Do you crawl into your safe place when the world seems mean and hurtful? Face this challenge in your life head on. Be thankful for the opportunity to experience whatever it is that is happening. Set yourself a goal of learning from every situation in your life. Find that silver lining. It is there. So, there's always something positive even in the most difficult situation. And when you are able to make it through that difficult situation, you will discover that you are a stronger and wiser person after that experience. Well, that's it for today. I hope you were able to gain some inspirations and some insights from our timeless oracle reading. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to see you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.